sofa6.co.uk. Sponsors of The Haze Hour. Well, hello, good evening, and welcome. It's Thursday night. It's Thursday, the 14th of November. Two days before Vape Fest Island, Irish Vape Fest, or the party on the Saturday afternoon that stopped on the Tuesday. Yes, to which I shall be going. In fact, very shortly after this show is finished tonight, I'll be packing my case and doing a Dave Kitson, hurtling off to the airport at stupid o'clock in the morning to wing me way across to Ireland. As you can see, Keith tonight isn't. <laughs> oh, I was going to say, I kind of see him. Why is he under the desk? Well, he's not very big to start with. I've just wound his chair down a bit, Chris. That's, <laughs> that's what it is I've done. But I am joined, I am joined, I am joined by Cat, Chris, the one and only. And tonight is free form. I have in front of me a barrel load of bits and bobs and stuff that have come into my possession over the last few days, which there's all sorts here. There's, there's, there's all kinds and we're going to have a look at them and talk about all court all pfft, aye, we're off again we're aware there it's 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 what i call the sav smith the sav smith's hit that's falling over your tongue by the way is what it is and that's what i'm doing a lot of free form totally free form tonight just going to enjoy ourselves a little bit because it's been it's been a hard grind of late isn't it it's been a hard grind. Hasn't it been a hard grind, Chris? It's been a hell of a hard week. I'm going to put you full screen because the dog's just come into shot behind you. <laughs> Why has it got a pencil sharpener under its tail? <laughs> <laughs> Could be one of a multitude of reasons knowing that dog. Well, yes, absolutely. <laughs> it, uh, for, for a minute there, I thought it was a cat. Its little pink lips were blowing a kiss. Hi. Or Damn something along pissed. those lines. Yes. Um, yeah, I suppose we ought, to, uh, we ought to do the show, aren't we, really? Oh, we're going to do the show? Well, might as well, eh? Aye, go on then. I'll we'll have a bit chat with folk and I'll, what have I'll, you. I'll, I'll, I'll play the titles in then. Shall we do it okay. together? Hello, good evening, and welcome to The Here's the Hour. The Here's Hour. The Here's Hour. Say it again, Chris. The Here's the Hour. <laughs> <laughs> what? What Keith hates that I had it turned up tonight so I could hear it viewers. So I, it was good, it was banging and heating. It was good, yes. All that I kind of stuff. Those titles. He said sucking deeply on stogie boys. This has come from uh, the rock, it's the rock stogie. It's uh, like a cigar. You know what I'm saying, boys? Don't cross the boys in Chicago, Illinois. The Illinois boys will have you, boys. <laughs> it's it, it, it's cracking this, a lot. Stogie, all good. Ah, uh, Stogie. I'm not sure it's a lady's vape, though. No, I don't think so. But it sits in the mouth, lovely. It really does. I'll take your word for it. I tell you what, what's that you're uh, sucking on there now? Because I know that's new. I'll take this out, otherwise nobody will understand the word I say. Tell us all about it, Chris. Doesn't that look canny? Does, doesn't it? Look canny. Well, for all the people who don't like clones, switch off now. Um, Is it basically, a clone? It's a, that's a nemesis clone underneath oh. here. Right. Um, and on top of that, was something I, I ordered from Fast Tech. Now, you know I'm addicted to Fast Tech. Um, I think it's you that's keeping them in profit, if I'm to be honest. I, I think you're right. 
And I saw this and I thought, oh, what's that? And I ordered one to have a look at it because it was something like $2 something. It was ridiculously cheap. How much? Aye, uh, $2 something. So $2. Right? 75 or something. Well, it was ridiculously cheap. You can't buy a stamp and for that. No, and perhaps you can see it, it's all plastic at the top here, clear plastic. And it's called a BV trunk. A what? A VV trunk. 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 T R A N K. That's correct. As long as it's got the T R at the front, we're all right. <laughs> I'm not sure if the uh, the coil inside it is renewable. Uh huh. I'm not sure about that yet. But I have to say, it's lovely. If you're a flavour hound, you'll love it. All right. I see. I see. It's very, very flavourful. Um, and it. Ladies. Oh, good. Excellent. Carry on. Tell them about it. Well, I just did. I keep telling them. I'm just, you know, I want to enjoy myself tonight. Aye. <sighs> You're just going to sit there and dean out as usual. No, I'm shooting up. Shut up, man. Oh. There you are. I wasn't on camera, was I? Ah, oh, that's better. <laughs> <laughs> that was, uh, by the way, I should say, that wasn't MHRA approved, so it'll work properly. <sighs> Do you see what I have to put up with you with? Eh? Do you see what I have to put up with? It's not true. This is what life on Vapor Trails TV is like. It's not. It is. Is it? It's not. So at $2.75 for Something like that. what is a completely see-through... The, the, coil, the coil unit in the bottom of that, we were talking about it earlier, it's a, it looks a lot like an Aspire, doesn't it? But it's much longer. Longer. Um, it's probably twice the height. Of an Aspire? Yeah, I mean, I've got an Aspire here. And I don't know whether you can see those side by side. Um, but there's quite a difference. It's probably half the size again. Right. So it's quite long. Um, but... <sighs> I can't. I certainly can't see any sign of any uh, silica or anything like that. So it's it's a similar technology to the uh, the Aspire coils. But it works a treat, mind you, mind you. This these bottom button things. Oh. I cannot get away with bottom button. It, it, I've got to say it doesn't surprise us because um, I'll, I'll, I'll go, to, go to that camera there. Um, at, the, at the knees meet that was on Saturday gone, and if you weren't there, you missed one of the most chilled out and relaxing meets we've ever been to. Am I right, Chris? Oh, it was brilliant, wasn't it? It was absolutely, it was lush. It was just so relaxed, so friendly, chilled, Nobody said boo to a ghost. There wasn't even any funny looks from the non vaping public that were there. There was the odd, what they're doing? Vaping. Oh. Must have good kit like. Aye. Oh. Eight ball in the corner pocket job. Um, and that wasn't a euphemism. The pool table was out. Um, but completely relaxed. But while we were there, I was sat with Cliffy talking to him. And uh, you all know Cliffy, of course you do. And he says, Dave. I said, what, Cliffy? So I've got a mod, I can't make it hybrid. I can't make it work. Was Cl Doesn't that, is that what he sounds like? <laughs> yeah, it's a very, very good impression that I was doing. I says, get away, Cliffy, is that, is that right? I says, why, why won't it work? I don't know, I'm getting up spots on it all the time. And I says, well, give us a look then. So he, he passed it over, and, and, and here it is. I'll go to close the up, you can. This is it here. This is, this is the, the bottom button hybrid that he, that he couldn't make work. Now, to be fair, to be fair, it is a Genesis. And if I slide its little coat off, slide, and then slide its top off, it is actually as you'll be able to see, a true hybrid. That will not un unscrew. But it is also, as you'll be able to see, a bottom butting. Now, I don't recognise that logo. If anybody in chat does, 
please let me know what it is, but I don't recognise that logo. Now, we said it came from Fastech, so I went to Fastech to have a look, and I cannot find it on there. Anyway, I've recoiled it, but it is bottom button, and it's got these little leggy things so that when you stand it upright, it doesn't fire. It's like a little rocket's fins, um, and I've been messing with it, and it actually needs a much narrower wick than the whole size, and it's supplied with two. But the wicks that it's supplied with are the same exact diameter as the hole and you cannot manage not to get a hot spot. However, I has re-wicked it and as you can see, it is a hot spot free zone. Look at that, he said, using his little finger to press the button. But I'm going to say it's possibly one of the least comfortable mods I have ever used. And those of you that use a bottom button on a regular basis with your little how do you do it how do you do it so it doesn't bloody hurt because it's doing my napper in the thing works really nicely has to be said it looks very small doesn't it it's tiny weeny but there's a reason for it being tiny weeny i'll show you what the reason is back to closey up you come if i go to closey up you come he said make sure you're in closey up you come david and not in another county Look at the size of that bottom bit compared to the 18350 beside it. It's nearly as long. In fact, with the, 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 the spring, it's longer than the blowed battery. And it just, it, it strikes me that could have made this part a lot smaller and you'd have been able to get an 18500 in. And if they'd made it, the tube just a tad longer, you'd have been able, he said, to get an 18650 in and that would last somebody like me a lot longer but that was i think he said it was something like 15 quid which <laughs> really isn't a bad price it's not built like a brick outhouse i've got no idea where you would be able to get them i'm just checking chat to see Mm. Now, I'm not saying anything from chat about where it might have come from or what the logo is for, but it does seem to work quite well. Mm -hmm. I just find I, I'm having problems with them. That you, you need either a very big thumb to put equal strength on it, or I tend to be hitting corners and it causes all kinds of little <laughs> problems. It's, you I, know? I think it's an acquired art. I think you have to learn how to use a bottom button. Oh, I've got it working perfect there. Did you? Mm. And I'm not telling you how I did it either. Well, Famago uses the first knuckle of his pinky. That's just what I've done, actually. I didn't realise your pinky had knuckles. Neither did I. Well, mine's generally flaccid. Flaccid. Des, Disco Des just doesn't like bottom buttons, he says here. And uh, he... What? He keeps pressing his evic with his pink nowadays. I, I think, I hope you meant pinky. Do you know what it is? Mm -hmm. And I'm going to need your help with this, because you know what my memory's like. But every time people speak about bottom buttons, mm -hmm. there's a song goes through my head. And it's something to do with your belly button. I can't, can't do I my... I can't do my belly bottom button up. Aye. Bally there being, you go. Ba Bally used to be the um, the polite term of bloody. Oh, I thought it was belly button. No, it's Bally. I can't do my Bally bottom button up. I can't do my belly bottom button up. My waistcoat doesn't fit now. No, I. It's one of them pearly kings and queens type of things. Right, because mm. every time I say that word, two words, I think of that song. Mm. Now I know why I can't do my belly button. <laughs> well, Can any... I just do a shout out to say hello to a very old friend of mine that's come in the chat? Of course you can. Who is it? Iken. Hello, darling. Hello. Is Iken in? Iken is in. Hello, Iken. How are you doing? One of my very first friends when we started vaping. I tell you what, Iken, it's really nice to see you across here on the Vapor Trials TV. New Yorker, New Yorker, isn't he? New York. No, one. he's from Philadelphia. Oh, that's just up the road from here. 
lovely, lovely person who gave me an awful lot of encouragement when I first started. And look what I've turned into. Well, quite. Famago is asking, what is the English word for the place where your fingers bend? I thought it was knuckle, as in knuckle. In Dutch, it is knuckle, as in knuckle, knuckle in Dutch. Well, you know about Dutch because you speak Dutch, don't you? I used to. Cause I don't know. Cause I, live can, I mean, I, was, I lived in Holland for a long time. I've got a Dutch family. All my family are Dutch. But uh, I'm not very good in it. I'm sorry, I just got slightly distracted because apparently Leanna Lawless likes bottoms. She won't do, yes. Yeah. I'm partial to the odd one myself, I have to admit. I thought you were a bird fan. A bird fan? Well, yeah, Ron was telling us you're partial to a cockatoo. <laughs> I walked right into that, didn't I? <laughs> Only slightly. <laughs> Aye. Only slightly. Only slightly. Yeah, um, yes, so that, hey, that's two devices we've looked at before the adverts. Have we? Three? Did we? Well, you're... Wank, no. I nearly... You you tr you, it's, that's got me confused as hell, that has, Chris. Twank. Tank. Trank. Trank. No, why T R E N K. I, why I had T W E N K in my mouth. In me. <laughs> <laughs> Quite why I had that in my head, I just don't know. I had twang in my mind. Carl's asking, what flavour is that cigar? Cigar flavour. Nice. It's um Okay, let's let's do the job properly then, shall we? We might as well. Uh seeing as how we know how. It's um You know that Urzat's tobacco when you buy your first starter kit and I'm probably talking to the folks that have been around a long time now because I've not tasted this particular flavour in a long time but certainly it was just always just labelled as tobacco it was never a USA mix or desert camel or any of that kind of desert ship rather or any of that it was always just labelled tobacco and it's kind of it's reminiscent of the smell of a box of cigars um, there's a there's a small level of sweetness about it. It's not harsh. It's not it's not chocolatey like a full on cigar would be. You know, you've got that kind of cocoa chocolatey affair to it. It's uh, it's quite mild. It's inhalable, um, but it's far from unpleasant. And the stogie itself, size wise, closer you become, is there you go. Uh, what can I give you to give you an example? A standard 30ml bottle of liquid. There you go. Put that there and stand the stogie beside it. Let's just zoom out a tad so it gives you a bit better idea. So you can see widthwise it is quite thick. It's a, probably about the size of an 18650 up to here. And then you've got the, the mouthpiece end on it. And it feels as though it's got a good size battery in it. Um, and it certainly seems to be performing quite nicely. It's 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 very very cigar like to sit and chug on. I am quite enjoying it. It's a good it's a good mouthful. If only they'd used this in the VIP adverts, they'd have been so much more interesting. Don't you think, Chris? <laughs> <laughs> I never actually watched them to the point where you saw what it was they were advertising. Mm. I just uh, switched them off straight away. Mm. Right, people are searching for this trunk and they can't find it. You see, I'm going by the um, the shipping note, mm -hmm. but I mean, maybe somebody's typed it the way they say it, because it has come from China after all. Try T L N uh, T L A N K. Like. Oh. <laughs> Plank. I'm just going to have a look, see if I can find where well, I'll tell you things. what, while, while you were searching the interwebs for the, for the trank, I still, trank. Want to, I still want to see a twank. I just it's called a tank in the... Ah, right, somebody's found... On the order page. The Vivi Trank SKU is 149070. 
That would be... 1490700. That are. is the boy. I've put it on screen. Femoral's got it right. The SKU is 1490700. Look at that. And it's $2.99. Well, that's three bucks in proper English, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Which is about two quid. Yeah. There or thereabouts. It's now that. And it's uh, 3.5 mil BCC bottom coil clear remiser. 2.4 ohms. Whip it up's asking where you got that cigar. Can you remember, Dave? It's rock. 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 Rock UK is where it is. Now, for Margo was asking, how can DD be so happy didn't he get the trilogue news? Ha. Right. We've tried, I've tried all the way through all of this from the very start to make Thursday night a non political news night. Mm -hmm. um, we've got to have some time where we just enjoy ourselves a little bit if we can. I have heard the news. I'm not particularly downhearted because at the moment I'm not entirely certain how serious it is. But fret ye not it shall be covered in depth the team is all over it and on that note i think we'll uh, we'll shoot off to the adverts we'll be back in a couple of minutes don't go anywhere Right, I've, I've cut that a little bit short and I do apologise for that because I've been watching chat through the, uh, through the adverts and yes, the Lithuanian presidency does want to water down Amendment 170. I think we're going to have to cover it. Last night, as you may recall, we said that you really, really, really need to be getting in touch with your MPs. You also need to be getting in touch with your MEPs to remind them what they voted for. Because the bottom line on it, all of this, is that the council and plenary have to agree. And no matter what the negotiators in trilogue come up with, it goes back to both council and plenary. And we need to come at them from both sides. Bear in mind that there's another two or three trilogue sessions to happen yet. So you need to be reminding your MEPs what they voted for with Amendment 170 and why they voted for it. I'm hearing rumours that they're looking at watering down the, uh, the 30 milligram down to something lower than that and that they won't even take the restrictions on reporting and all kinds of other things. I'm also hearing, and this is the really bad news, that there's potentially uh, a World Health Organisation advisor going to be drafted in to help the Commission and that would be the one and only Stanton Glance. So, fact of the matter is, we need to get active, as Jerry said last night. We need to be emailing, talking to, writing to, telephoning MEPs as well as MPs and coming at it from both sides. I mean, I wouldn't normally get stuck in on a Thursday night, but chat appears to want to do that and so therefore we must. Now, let me state straight away that 
the, the, the glance thing is a rumour. It hasn't been substantiated yet. If it is substantiated, of course we'll let you know. We would. Um, I'm just trying to catch up on chat here. Yes, we, we just need to be back on to MEPs and remind them why they voted for Amendment 170. If there's disagreement between Council and Parliament, one side to the other, then they've got to go away and talk about it and within six weeks come back together, depending on what plenary comes up with, what Council comes up with, and it'll get battered backwards and forwards. What they're worried about is it rolling across into the Greek presidency and even worse for um, the parliament, moving into the next parliament because what started in one parliament isn't binding on the next and therefore they would have to start again pretty much from scratch. So we need to do what we've been doing all year but step it up. As Jerry said last night, put your pedal down to the firewall, put your foot flat on it and make your voices heard. We know we can, we've proved we can, that's what you've got to do. Chris, are you following chat by any chance? I am. Is there anything coming out of there that we might need to cover? <laughs> no, um, I don't think so. Um, since you mentioned the word or the name glance, um, Liana Lawless has jumped on it straight away saying he can fix her car, which uh, might be the best use you can put him to. Mm. But, yeah, they've got the message. They know they need to, um, you know, get back onto MPs, MEPs. More to the point with your MP, insist on him um, seeing you face to face if you can. Absolutely. And Absolutely. bring your um, e-cig with you. Let them see what it is you use. Um, if you do that, it's all good. And furthermore, while I'm talking to you, can I just remind you all to please have a look at our Facebook page <coughs> and please go along and sign that petition that I'm asking you to sign there. We need a van load of letters for Dave to hand over. And at the moment, we've got enough to fit into the basket on a bicycle. Yes. Get over there, get it signed, okay? And there's a damn good reason for that. I'll take myself full <coughs> screen to tell you about it. Um, on the 27th of November, when this is all handed across, if you know ITV at all, you'll have heard of Chris Choi who is the consumer editor on ITV. He's going to be following, following me about on the 27th and the ITV news cameras will be there when the petition is handed over. Now, if I hand something over that's the thickness of five shades of toilet roll, it's not going to look that good. We need big, heavy, thick, lots and lots of signatures to get handed across there. We need to show that this actually is important. It's going to be on a documentary, whichever of the ITV documentaries it is, that's going to be shown mid-January. And we want to be in a position where it's done right. Now, I'm going to be, I've got a lot of input onto this. They've asked me if they can come and film the show on the night of the 27th. So I'll be down to London to hand that lot in, then I'll be back up here to do VT talk on the night, and Chris Choi will be guesting on the show. Right? That's what's going to be happening. If we're going to make all of this work, if we're going to make our voices heard, we need lots and lots of people signing that. So please get across to Save ACIGS and get it signed and get everybody you know to do the same. Get round all of the forums. This is not going to go away unless we fight it away. We're not going to win it unless we carry on fighting. We can win it and we will will it win it, but we've got to fight. So please do as Chris has said. Get across there and get that signed. Get tweeting, get talking to your MEP. Seriously, now is the time. Pull all the stops out and go completely crackers on it. Um, it's a message I'm going to be taking to Ireland at the weekend as well. I'm as busy as I can be doing everything I can. Everybody's busy as they can be doing everything they can. Please, 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 please. 
do everything you can to give us all the best chance of winning when we get to the end of this. Please. Yeah. And if you've been across to the site previously and you found it confusing, please go back. It's all been sorted out. It's nice and simple. You just, it'll open up if you use that link I've given you on the page where the letter is printed. At the bottom where it says, yours sincerely, sign the letter here, click that, and all you have to do is fill in your name, your postcode, and an email address. So get on there now and do it. And do the same thing for every member of your family if they want to sign that. Yes. It's very, very, very important it that is. you do that now. Um, all, all the forums, tweet it, Facebook it. Is MySpace still around? MySpace it anywhere, anywhere that you're a member of, get it up there. If even if you're on a car mechanics website, get it on there. Tell everybody you know. It would be lovely if we could get a hundred thousand signatures on there. That would be absolutely glorious, and that would make such a difference to what we all want to do. Bottom line on it is, we've got to do everything we can to make sure we don't lose everything we've got. The stakes are high. They're playing dirty tricks in Brussels. So we're going to have to just pull the stops out and do everything we can. I think that just about covers it, doesn't it? Is anything else coming up in chat? No, that's fine. They're getting themselves over there and they're doing it. And uh, I can't thank them enough. Trelento says, can VTT contact Sarah Wollaston? Yes, we can try. We can try. Um, certain... Certain personalities have been invited to turn up on the 27th. Certain personalities have been invited to meet with uh, Ms Ellison, Jen Ellison, the new minister, uh, trying to arrange a meeting between her and me and some certain personalities. It's all been on Twitter. Twitter's where it's all happening. Facebook's where it's all happening. You know, we've really got to pull this together now. Not just in the UK, Europe wide germany holland france italy greece spain lithuania estonia all of these places all 28 20 however, however many member states we've got now we've got to be doing it everywhere we've got to make a noise anything you can do will be appreciated the uh, the piece in the new york times last weekend said that everything was being fed by industry well if vapertrails.tv is industry, I'm feeding you. I don't think we're industry, but please, I'm begging you. Um, and I don't often beg, but really, I know you can do it because we've already done it. Let's do it again, shall we? Only twice as effective. Anything more to add to that? No, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. Yes, I think that's great. They're all getting themselves over there, and that's wonderful. Brilliant. Thank you, folks. You, I've said it before, and I'll say it again. I know everybody thinks it's just a line. It's not. I really do think our chat is the best chat on the planet. <laughs> Did you oh. have to? <laughs> <laughs> that's been there since this show started. It took it long enough. I know, and I didn't have time to get to the mute. Sorry. Good Lord above. <laughs> Gesundheit, isn't, that doesn't cover it. Can, if, no. if, if anybody's uh, <laughs> to the north of where I live, can you see if my eardrums landed on your front doorstep, <laughs> please? <laughs> Fang. Shot out at ours. Absolutely shot out. Oh, God. Deary me. Thank you to everybody that's been and signed it and posted on Twitter and posted on all the forums. You stars, you really are. I, I, this is why you're the best chat on, on the planet. You absolutely are. Yeah, midge dogs, you're going to get sued for busted eardrums, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Dearie Lord, look, I tell you what, we'll take a quick burst of adverts. Um, we all know what we need to do. Let's... Uh, Let's get the last sort of 20 minutes of the show in a, in a bit of a later vein. And if anybody's got any requests in chat or anything like that, yell them out. Uh, the, what, there's only one thing I won't do. You know what that is. Don't anybody ask me to vape menthol or anything that's got 
Diablo look or anything like that. You know, I've had enough of that over the last few ones. But yes, thanks to everybody that's gone and signed that. Tell all your friends, keep it going. We'll be back in a couple of minutes. And we're back in the room, and we're back in the room after a departure from our advertised schedule. Well, there wasn't an advertised schedule, was there really, Chris? No. No, not really, not really. Um, I did see one or two of the requests that have come up in chat, and seriously, I thought I had friends in there. <laughs> they, they want an RY6 nose hit at 15 watts. Well, all right then. No, you've got to get on the plane in the morning. I'll be all right. Here's, there it is, at 11 watts. I shall press the uppy button. This is on the copper that I spoke about on Sunday. That's at 15 watts. I shall zoom in so everybody can see. Just in case you don't believe me, 15 watts. Right, here we go. Camera two. Nose hit. By God, I'll tell you what, that isn't half blasting it. That's um, on the scrape, on top of me copper, at 15 watts. Now, I should tell you, I, I did speak about this on Sunday, it's available on UKV. Um, Soul Vapor Baby, that's the, that's the guy. Um, I took it, took the lid off it earlier on today, and I can tell you it is beautifully laid out inside. It's solid as a rock. It's really rather pleasant. This is going with me everywhere I go. So if you're at Irish Vape Fest, you'll get to see it, and you'll get to see the scrape. I would get used to this at 15 watts, Chris. Oh, you're joking, Dave. Oh, it's nice. Mm. No, it was too strong for me. That's working really rather nicely. Did you say you'd just filled your, uh, your new Aspire up? Yeah, I sat and filled it while you were telling everybody about uh, trial and what was happening. All right. Um, so they would have seen me take it out of the packet. So I have not used this since you gave it to me on Saturday. Um, and I've put it on this dodgy Evic. Uh-huh. Um, can I just shout out, if anybody from Joytech is watching... What the hell have you done with this update 1.4? This it, hasn't worked properly since I updated it. Is it not doing the job? Oh, it's terrible. You you press the button and it'll either jam or stick and it, it'll not work and you have to sort of... Well, today I actually had to open the software 
and reset the whole thing because it, it told me that I'd puffed enough and I couldn't have any more puffs. Oh, God. I mean, how it eh? Mm -mm. Anyway, that's beside the point. I've put this on there. I've half filled it with um, some DY4. Oh, biscuity uh, loveliness. I'm not really getting the biscuity bit, but never mind. That's just my taste buds. But I've added a bit of plum to give it that little bit of nice flavour. Hence, you can see the colouring in, 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 in me trunk. It'll always be a trunk now. You know. Right. It's kind of pinky. Um, so I've got a bit of plum in there. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just, I'm just thinking about how I'm going to put the description on the end of the show. And I can, I can now legitimately put in there and cut shows her pink. <laughs> um, the first couple of inhales were a bit tight. But, and I wasn't getting a lot of vapour or flavour, but now after about four or five inhales... That is coming through beautifully. I have to say that um, I've, I've, I've spent a fair amount of time playing with the, the various different Aspire devices. I have here, for instance, the Aspire BDC. Close you up, you calm. Whoops. There it is. Aspire BDC, uh, which is, is the glass tank version thereof. Mm. Um, so it'll take any... Of the of the you know outlandish juices that uh, Sav keeps yes. on trying to trick me into using, um, and I've got to say, that's an absolute delight. Is in fact I'm finding everything with the Aspire coil set in, is is really really good as a technology. It's full of flavour. The vapour output from it is is brilliant. This is set to nine watts. And you can see how much that's chucking out. Yeah. It's I'm on eight. And it's very, very similar here, you know. My God. Exactly. That is fabulous. That, that's, that's unknown. You don't part with vapour. I don't. But I find what I like, I have to say I like it. The moment I picked it up, I like the weight of it. Mm. It feels as though I've got a nice bit of kit on there. That may sound a bit silly, but I do like the, the weight of it. And since the days of getting the, the Pro Tank, I like that kind of drip tip. Mm. You know, the, the all-in-one thing? I do like that. And, I mean, this was the other Aspire that I had that... You know, I, I I got from um, Daz at Vapor Six, and I like that too. He's got he's got the full range. Um, in fact, the uh, the David um, has just arrived. Close you up, you come again. There we yeah, go. Yeah, I've seen a lot of people talk about that. I've would, never um, this tried is, one. This is the David Aspire. Okay. Is what this one is, and I've got to say, I mean, obviously, exchangeable drip tips. So you can use any drip tip you like. The, it's a glass tank again in this part. Mm -hmm. But you can unscrew the lot and put bigger tanks in. Oh, right. There's, there's all kinds of different ways you can use it. I haven't gone into it in any great depth. It arrived with Alfie, as it does with these things, at, uh, at 3 o'clock. I've got it in the corner of the picture. I'll do that. There you go. Um, Arrived with Alfie, as it does, because I do like the way that works. You get the text to let you know what's happening and all of that kind of stuff. And he was bang on time, as he always is. So I've not really had an awful lot of time to play with it. But what I have uh, got out of it thus far is extremely, extremely acceptable. Um, I took it to bits to have a play with and see how it came to bits and how it went together. And discovered why it was gurgling at the top of the show, because I hadn't screwed the bloody thing back up tight enough. Um, mm. It needed just that extra little nip, and yeah. it's uh, it's doing the job lovely. Yeah, there's questions coming in. Mm -hmm. um, whip it up's asking how long the heads last. Um, now that I've exhaled that lungful, my darling wife 
Um, if she latches onto something and she likes it, she gives it hot licks. She's getting through about two and a half to three mils of juice a day, and we just, just changed the coil unit in her. Um, oh God, come in on! This one. In this Yeah, in the, in the in the original Aspire that she got uh, after four weeks. Yeah. So I that's... can confirm exactly the same, except I'm probably putting twice as much juice. Yeah. Oh, well, Jill's, she, if it gets, you know how you like quite a tight draw, Chris? Yes, I do. Well, Jill doesn't. She likes a nice airy draw. And the minute it tightens up to the point where you would find it acceptable, that's when she can't use it. So she wants it changed. I would have had another two or three, four weeks out of it, I would have imagined. Uh, well, the, the draw on this, it's perfect for me. Yes. Now, now uh, Trento is asking, is the, is the David Aspire the same heads? Yes, it is. The Aspire, all of these Aspire equipped are using the Aspire heads. They're all the same heads. So you've got a coil for all. Mm -hmm. It's just different quantities, different lengths of centre uh, tube. So you can, excuse me, vary the the temperature a little bit that way if you're on a a non wattage controlled mod um it, it's just the same coil from start to finish right the way through and i've got to say i find these aspire coils to be particularly impressive they do take and chris will back me up on this a thousand percent i'm sure they do take a little bit of time just to break in and that amount of time varies depending on how you use it if you're going at fairly low wattage, low voltage, it'll take slightly longer to break in than if you're at higher voltage and higher wattage. Um, after that, it, it, they are absolutely magic. I mean, this one I've been using for a week or so now. Um, started using them Friday, took them down and people had a try with them on Saturday. And this is chucking it out, absolutely chucking it out, as you will see shortly. Well, this broke in within minutes. I have to say it because that's the case. The other one, this one, took about an hour. Mm -hmm. um, but this was pretty instant. It was on the third draw. I got the vapor and the flavor I was looking for. Mm. So not bad at all. I'm, I'm going to put my hands up and say I've been uh, lacing the juice with Nathan's Caramel. Uh, <laughs> not Nathan's. Ashes, BJ1. The, the singular BJ, not the double BJ. I, um, I can't take a double BJ and everything, unfortunately. Would be lovely if I could. Um, and, and the flavour is absolutely flooding out of these Aspires. It's gorgeous stuff. They, they really are good kit. Are you finding the same now, Chris? Absolutely. Moonlit, you're saying about how the heads take to higher voltages. I mean, I'm using that at 8 watts, and it's absolutely fine. Dave's got his higher, um, and I'm sure you'll agree it's fine. Well, again, I'll whack this one up to the highest it'll go on the 134, um, which is 12 and a half watts, and give it a chuck, and let's see what happens, shall we? I'll, I should tell you. Uh -huh. More or less as it happens. Watch the face. You'll be able, you'll be able to tell if it's our hot or not. And while he's doing that, um, whip it up. You asked, has Dave taken a head apart yet? I doubt he has. Um, I haven't. The reason being, why bother? You know, um, the head, it's so fiddly and so small. Why the hell bother? Just get some um, spare heads, you know, and just change them. Well, the heads are what, 275? It's something like that. Well, Not quite on. Quite, it's, it, it, seriously, there'll they'll be a way into them. Whether you can get them back together again without any leaks creeping around the place, I don't know. But I'm absolutely certain that somebody out there that likes doing that kind of thing will do it. Can I make a plea? If you do, will you video it, good or bad? Just as you're doing it, in real time. I'll sort edits out and stuff like that. If you do do a, a recoil and a re-wick on one of these, please video it and as you do it rather than edit it or anything like that so that everybody can see whether it's worth their while but from my perspective if the, the two even if even if there were three quid a pop 
And even if you got only three weeks out of them, and my wife's getting four, you're getting four, Chris? Yeah, I got good four, and I took it off because it was starting to get a bit weaker. Aye. And I put a pro tank on that I got, and um, I stuck it back on for some reason after about uh, two or three days, and it was absolutely fine again. Mm -hmm. Back to life. <laughs> It's so it's probably one of them that I could put in the um, electronic cleaner. Yes. Thing. Um, I'm going to say to you now, no, this th this thing's handling 12 and a half watts quite nicely. Thank you. It's wicking like a dream. Uh, this is the the Davide, um Aspire Aspire Davide Davide. Aspire. It comes in that. That's 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 the box to look for. Go full screen, David. In fact, get into closer you can, and then they can see the box. That's the, much the best way. Where am I? There we go. Zoom it out a touch. Who said it was going to be easier tonight because there wasn't as many people involved? <laughs> that's, that's the box you're looking for. And on the back, zoom in again now, David. That's how it comes to be. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> that's another set of earwaxes gone through into Keith's house. Um, and there is full instructions, look. It's all good. Keep it away from children. The tube was made by Pyrex. Do not drop, is what it says. I, I will get it level. There you go. Getting gooder at this. It even shows you how to fill it. Numbers all the bits. All good stuff. All good stuff. So yes, yes. David's liking them. David's liking the David with the Aspire. I aspire to greater things, and, and the Aspire is doing the job just nicely in everything I've tried it in. Um, I shall even... Because I think I can't. Can I? No, I can't. <laughs> I didn't connect it up, did I, the other computer, so I can't show you the screenshot of Daz's site at safersigs.co.uk. Just search David, and it's there. It's like David with an E on. That's like my name with an E. You David E! A <sighs> bit like a trunk. Like a what? A trunk. You keep saying that. Is it properly called a trunk? No, it's actually a tank, just some silly tip. <laughs> when they were typing out my delivery note, called it a trunk. All right. But we've got the, the SKU and everything for it, haven't we? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Just don't buy them all, they're mine. I'm surprised you haven't been online ordering them. I'm not right now. <laughs> I, I ordered some this morning. That's after the show, is it? Aye. Indeed. Anything else coming in from chat there? Um, no, just people complaining that the um, Facebook page is not allowing people to share and that I'm afraid there's nothing we can do about that. That's a Facebook problem and not uh, one of ours. But if you use the link um, that I've just put into chat there, you'll go direct to the page that the letter is on, which is the cv6.com mm. website. Right, it's a link at the bottom of the letter to the link on my Facebook page. It's not working. Marshall okay. Noah is saying it's the link at the bottom of the letter to link it to my Facebook page. It's not working. No link to the letter page. Copy the pop, copy the page link. Sav's typing it in. Yeah. Copy paste the link manually. That's what she's saying. Well, the old fashioned way. Yes. That's the way to do it. And, and Miles is saying it does work. The link is a millimetre below the link icon. Ed Morgan right. has no video. Sorry. Moonlit said, seeing the wizard evolved, opinions, any opinions in general on crazy priced mods? I haven't <sighs> seen the wizard evolved, I'm afraid. I think I've, I've seen little bits on it, but I've not looked at it in general. Um, I think what people call, call crazy Christ mods. Say that they, again, Dave. I will, because I think I didn't see it right. <laughs> what people call crazy prices are crazy to them. Prices are like flavours, they're subjective. I mean, there's a bloke who lives not too far away from here, is driving a boat in a car that cost him over £400,000. And there's another bloke who lives a little bit further away that's got one of those Bugatti Veyrons. There's not many of them and they're a million pound each. And you'll hear the lads walking about going, must be bloody crackers paying that for a car. Well, 
if he's got the money, if he's got the wherewithal, and and he wants it, and he's prepared to pay the price, that's really all you can say. Um, in many cases, I think, you know, if if certain devices were turned out by the thousand instead of by the hundred, they would probably end up being a lot cheaper. But at the end of the day, it's down to what the individual considers to be value for money. Um, it's why I was saying, and why Chris was saying, pardon me, why Chris was saying, I'd be most unlikely to take an Aspire coil to bits to try and put new coil and wick in it, because I, I think at, at £2.75 for a coil, if, and we're getting a month out of them, <sighs> what's the point? Life's too short. But I'm not that bothered about getting all tiny and, and, and what have you. If it's something you enjoy, brilliant. Uh, I mean, I've got some hauntingly expensive mods here, one way or another, and I enjoy them. They don't get used all the time, but by the same token, they don't get put on the shelf as an ornament either. Unlike somebody's... Uh... Nah, I will not go there. I'll just get wrong. She'll give us a kick in next time she sees us. No, I'm back. I love having mine sitting there in my little mod stand. I was thinking of the silver bullet. I feel quite... That's in its little velvet pouch. Yes, I know, it's in a little velvet but pouch and hidden away. But I've got stands on order so that I can have them all looking pretty in the little mm. stand. I don't know if this will lift up without me dropping things. Beauty's in the eye of the beholder. Value is in, be in, in the eye of the purchaser is basically the way it goes. If you want it, you've got the wherewithal, and you want it enough to pay what it requires, then it represents value to you. Uh, I, that's, that's the easiest way to put it. And that's the way I view it, you know? Um, I mean, I, I, can't, I really can't understand anybody that pays more than 400 quid for a suit. And generally speaking, I don't like to pay more than 99 quid, which is why I go to Giacomo, where all the fat lads go. <laughs> Giacomo, Giacomo. Handmade, ah oh yes, all Git has just said that some of these are, made, are handmade by virgins with golden hair and silver tongues. I think he's been watching the wrong kind of video. Is he talking about Mark Jones again? Since when has Mark had golden hair? <laughs> well, I just showed me the stand and I thought, well, maybe he thought, never mind. No, I don't think he was talking about the stand and I'm, I'm fairly sure that Mark's not a virgin. I'm fairly sure you're right. That's why I said he's talking about Mark Jones again. He's, he's, not, he's not a virgin at modding, that's for sure. Can I just say at yes. this point? Aye. Because we're quickly running out of time. Go for it. Flavour, that one. Mm hmm. Hit, that one. My so, opinion. So you get, you get the best flavour out of a twank. <laughs> for cat you get the best flavour out of a twank um, and no I'm not, just not going to go where I was going with the Aspire I'm just not this has got one hell of a, a good throat hit oh well I'm pleased you got it out and I've been absolutely avidly watching you with your fingers all over it and now that you've put it in your mouth I want you to I tell like me about the flavour You dare, don't I've you? Never, dare. I've never seen as much vapour come out of you. I'm enjoying myself. Leave us alone. I'll translate <sighs> that for those of you of a southern bent. She said she is enjoying herself and she would rather like me to leave her to it. <laughs> as VB says, cat loves tranking. Yes. Absolutely. And Ed Morgan says. I'm a total trank. Always have been. Ah, uh, you're tranker. <laughs> There's no like a good tranking. I shall be trunk well I won't be tranking me way to Ireland tomorrow, but I will be going to Ireland. If you're going over there, I'm looking forward to seeing you. If you're already there, I'm looking forward to seeing you. I'm bringing Mrs. Dawn. We're coming together. I might need to rephrase that. Nah. <laughs> I wouldn't bother. Nah, will not. Um, I'm going to say a big thank you to Chris. Uh, for joining me tonight. Thank you, Chris, for joining me tonight. You're very welcome. Uh, can I say a big thank you to your nose for its uh, interruptions? <laughs> I'm sorry about that. I'm, su I'm surprised nobody's uh, typed in the chat what a snotty cow you are. 
Um, thanks for joining us. It's, it's as per usual, I've enjoyed sharing the last hour with all of you there. Um, it's good. Keith will be back next week. Um, I'll be back, ne back next week, but I make no promises about sobriety because Guinness is good for you. That's what they always used to say, and I still believe it. Uh, don't forget to tune in after the show for Daz DJ Berber spinning the wheels of steel on our way for radio. Um, and don't forget Saturday, well, Friday night is the lock in with Tim. Sa uh, Sunday night, we've got Dave Kitson back with Dave's Tackle Box. Monday night, I have seen and that Mr. Dibley has broken the £5,000 barrier for children in need, and so he will, I am assured, be doing Tin Your Tip totally naked. Completely. Not a stitch on. And I'm told Mark will be doing exactly the same. That'll stop them watching. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry, the picture's just coming to me head. Yeah, and mine. Uh, Tuesday night, Mark O's back with Vapor Scene. Wednesday, it'll be uh, VT Talk again, and we'll go into all of the politics in great depth, and don't expect me not to keep on giving you a, a quick call to action. But until we see you next time, from Chris, from me, and from all of us here on the VaporTrails.tv team, don't forget, vape on. Vape hard and nil carborundum illegitimi. Till we see you next time. Night night.